Hey you guys, sorry this video is late. Um, when Booktubeathon ended, I was enjoying a beautiful week-long vacation in Colorado, and let me just tell you, it is like breathtakingly beautiful there. It was my first time and I loved it, although the altitude when you start getting up in the mountains and stuff is a killer. Like, it was awful. Anyways, so during Booktubeathon, I read three books. I didn't finish three books. I started reading three books. Overall, this is probably the best I've done so far out of the three years I've participated in Booktubeathon. This is probably my best year, so I'm super excited and proud of myself for this. So anyways, let's dive into the three books. First, I read An Abundance of Catherines by John Green. When the Booktubeathon started, I was on page 90 and I finished it up. There's 215 pages, so 125 pages I read of Abundance of Catherines. I rated this three stars and I honestly feel like I should have rated it two but because it's John Green and I love John Green I just couldn't bring myself to rate it two stars but there is a review coming on this one and I'll let you know my thoughts and why I was not such a big fan of this one. The second book I picked up and finished is Something Real by Heather Demetrius and this let me just tell you this was really kind of cute I really liked it. I love the characters. I love the whole plot for the book. I also like am in love with this like cover. I think it's adorable. But I absolutely loved it. I rated this one four out of five stars. And it turns out it's actually a series. I thought it was a standalone, but there's a second book about one of the other sisters. I don't know if I'm gonna read it though. Um this was four hundred and four pages, and yes, I really like this book. And finally, the third book that I started but did not finish during the book tubeathon was Tiger Lily by Jody Lynn Anderson. Oh my gosh, like I mean I finished it at this point, I'm reading a different book now, but oh my gosh, this book is so like amazing. Like I love it. I I, I love it so much. Like I can't even put into words right now how much I love it. But yes, it is. it was great, and I do have a review coming up on this one because I have to talk about it. Anyways, so by the end of the book Tubeathon, I had barely gotten anything read at this point, but I only read up to 24 pages in this one. All together, I, with all the pages put together, I read 553 pages, which can roughly come out to a book and a half. I'm gonna count since these two were smaller than this one. And that is like super impressive for me and I'm so glad that I at least got to a third book this year because normally I only read like one, like I finish the book I'm reading and that's it or like I'll finish that book and like barely start the next book so it's like nothing. But I'm really proud of myself that I got to three books. I also read over 500 pages so that's fabulous. Anyways, let me know down below what you guys read during the book Tubeathon, how many books you finished, how many pages you read all together, are you proud of yourself, are you not, um, what did you think about this year's challenges, anyways, yeah, so we'll talk down in the comments. Until then, I'm Chrissy, <laughs> goodbye! I was actually out of state, enjoying a beautiful week-long vacation thing. I...